Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 10. I'm Ciara Speller. Police in Springfield continue their search for a mother of a baby who was found abandoned Sunday evening. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio tonight. Christina, you learned about the law surrounding child abandonment. Yeah, that's right. And that's the Safe Haven Act, which is meant to ensure that infants are left with people who can provide the immediate care needed for their safety. The Safe Haven Act brought to light here in Western Massachusetts after a baby was found abandoned on a doorstep in Springfield Sunday evening. The Safe Haven Act for Massachusetts was enacted in 2004 and it, and it provides some definition of, of these designated facilities where a newborn infant can be brought within seven days after birth. Typically, um, the newborn should be uh, brought to a hospital. The act also allows a parent or guardian to legally abandon newborn infants to other designated areas, like a police station or manned fire station, without facing criminal prosecution, and no signs of abuse or neglect of the infant. Local leaders saying more outreach needs to be done so parents who are in crisis know their options. We know they happen, uh, so we need to continue those conversations about the law that's presently available in Massachusetts to make sure that it's uh, getting information out to the community. Each state in the U.S. has its own version of a safe haven law, but age and designated locations do defer. Just over state lines in Connecticut, an infant must be 30 days or younger and can only be brought to a hospital. And now, new concerns that this may become a growing issue elsewhere in the country after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. That might be a byproduct of what we saw the Supreme Court do last year. You might see an increase in some of those states where mothers are bringing children to those designated facilities. The National Safe Haven Alliance has a 24-7 emergency line, and that number is one 888 510 229. Working for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.